The collection belongs to Professor Prigogin, who is well known as a Nobel laureate in chemistry in Belgium. He and his wife, over decades, put this collection together of very specific objects from a certain region of Western Mexico. The Mescala region is within the mountainous area of the modern state of Guerrero in Mexico, and it has been given this label because there were a cache of objects that were found near the Rio Balsas, which locally is known as the Rio Mescala. The works from the Guerrero Mezcala Chantal are traditionally dated to range from 300 to 100 BC. One would call it a very mysterious culture and its creations also have an enigmatic aura that adds to this big question mark about why these objects were created. Mesoamerican cultures went from the tip of Chile all the way to the border of modern Texas. And these were the only people who were so focused on architecture. So there is that big question mark. What did these structures mean to them? And what did they mean to Ilya Prigogine? Where were they taking him on his sort of scientific and spiritual quest? It is awe-inspiring to think of how they produced these stone sculptures. And they, of course, had no metal tools. And so they simply used stone on stone. And they did have a piece of twine where they would saw away at the stone. And then they would continue polishing them with small pebbles and polishing stones. the temples, they could maybe more correctly be called architectural models, since we're not quite sure if these were simple interpretations of domestic architecture, or were they truly some kind of spiritual structures. As he felt that these ancient artists tried to capture through these mysterious little buildings man's constant questioning of eternity, reincarnation, and passages to the other world. Because of that reductivist quality, it's so easy to project all sorts of thoughts, dreams, and fantasies on them, which makes them so very special within the whole range of pre-Columbian art.